Welcome back, everyone, to This Week is a Comparison Review. Well, kind of not really a review as such, but definitely a comparison, and who's going to win? So, as we finish off there, what's in the bag is cheeseburgers. And I thought, you know what, I haven't done a comparison like this. I've done this steakhouse versus steakhouse and another one just comparing two burgers, but comparing what is essentially a range of cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, triple cheeseburger. Obviously it started off as just a cheeseburger or hamburger, more to the point. I didn't want to try a hamburger because they're about as plain and as bland as you can possibly get. More bun by miles than anything else. And that's the way McDonald's always been. So comparison of the burgers, if you can kind of call them burgers, but the burgers, um, not so much the price, which obviously I'll come on to in two seconds, um, but it's just what is actually worth it. Like, is it worth buying a cheeseburger? Is it worth buying a double? Is it worth buying a triple? So I thought, you know what, let's just do, like a lot of YouTube videos out there have been the kind of $1 versus a million dollar X item. Now, these obviously are far from a million dollars, but you could say they're pretty expensive. So the cheeseburger first there, £1.79. That's quite a lot, I'd say, for what you're getting. The double cheeseburger, £2.69. And then the triple cheeseburger, £3.39. £3.39 for three skinny little cheese, or oh, three burgers with cheese, more to the point. But it's not really the money, it's the cost of everything that's gone up, so I, it's not really a comparison. It's the actual, as you can see there, and now we're off to the races, who's going to win? Actually, is it even worth buying a cheeseburger? Like, honestly, is it worth buying a cheeseburger? You see there, you've got more bun, same as a hamburger, more bun than burger and definitely cheese, being a processed slice of cheese. Now, the double cheese, I think that came along quite a long time afterwards. The Maybe it was even comparing it to, or they were trying to take on the Burger King double cheeseburger. I can't quite remember, but the double cheeseburger came along and that was kind of far better. It's almost, almost, but not quite, representing a quarter pounder, but obviously it isn't. But it's far better in terms of actually the meat you've got in it, just two little patties, but it's kind of more in line with the bun versus, as you can see there, the burger content. I mean, nobody wants more bun than burgers. So then you come on to the triple cheeseburger. Now, some people I think say, and I've seen online, the triple cheeseburger is too much. And I think what it might be more is the cheese. So it's almost like the hat trick burger, obviously a lot of skinnier patties. And a bit like the, what did we do before? The uh, Philly cheese steak burger. That was a lot of cheese. So that kind of like, almost like chocolate, a little bit too much cheese, but I, I honestly think it's it's about the right combination. You've got there that kind of almost, more to the point, represents getting towards a double quarter pounder. And obviously the double quarter pounder or single quarter pounder is a totally different burger, bigger in, in its entirety. But you can see there, the bun now represents far less than the meat. But if you go back to the first cheeseburgers, I'm obviously stacking them up on top of each other there to kind of show, as you can see, advertised versus reality. And they, they weren't a million miles off, but they were still quite a bit different. And even the glazed buns, which McDonald's say they've changed to, they didn't seem to be, I think the triple cheese was kind of more of the glazed bun. Um, so in a nutshell, it's, it's a very basic comparison, but from my point of view, especially for the price, is it even worth buying a cheeseburger these days? I'd, I'd say 100% no. So I don't think the cheeseburger is worth it. The double cheeseburger is about getting towards right, maybe could do with a little bit more, and then you get the triple cheeseburger. But when you say triple cheeseburger, hence the winner in two seconds, it sounds too much. But an actual triple cheese at that size, in terms of width, I think he's right. So the winner, from my point of view, is a triple cheeseburger. Hands down, triple cheeseburger. If you want to have slightly less in terms of the cheese content, double cheeseburger. Now, on top of that, I had the mozzarella cheese bites. We've had them before. And the, the fries this week were just a complete waste of time. They were dry, pretty much cold. And the McDonald's is literally like down the road from me. So again, only had it because it was delivery. Although they're not doing free delivery because McDonald's are McDonald's. Anyway, um, 
so we had those extra and I think the garlic mayo is a new mayo so this week just a comparison I would say 100% triple cheese is the winner if you want slightly less cheese the McDouble so next week on to another restaurant so no comparison appreciate all the subscribers and like share and again if you haven't subscribe